very decisive so that you should make the minimum of mistakes and this is why you would progress much faster. Now by progress there are different types of progress. There is what we call economical progress and we would all like to have this type of progress but then there is also social there is also mental progress. And if we are not careful in integrating the different fields so that our progress would be integrated, then we would have a lot of other problems. And since we do not like to have problems, we have to know how to go a bit deeper down into our personality. Now you see the personality is in such a deep and subtle level. This is why it is so difficult to change. Now you know very well that you have been trying for so many years, studying, working, taking all types of exercises and extra type of activities in order to bring about a change in that personality of yours and you are not quite successful. And today we would like to tell you why you are not because our personality lies in a level which is so subtle that the intellect of our, or our discriminating faculty don't get through. This is why, although we make all types of intellectual decisions in order to change, modify, and purify our personality and it just does not work and sometimes we become frustrated. Frustration is a sign of a weak mind and if you are not very careful that frustration would lead to violence and that violence might be personal or to our fellow human beings. Personal means that you might in the frenzy of a frustration on the violence, you might even commit suicide, which is not a good thing to call because the purpose or the mission of our, of our life in this beautiful world of ours is to evolve, to become a better being, a better human being. So we need all the time at our disposal. We need every second of that time in order to use it so that we can develop into a higher being which would be conducive not only for ourselves and our family but at the same time our fellow human being because we all live in this city and whatever happens to the city we all will be affected and we do not want to be affected we do not want to suffer city of New York from its economical standpoint or from the standpoint of the material things is very beautiful. We have beautiful streets, avenues, buildings, parks, trees and uh, we don't want to sort of uh, destroy or get rid of these things. So it is very important that we must make an extra effort in terms of improving ourselves in order to preserve that beautiful surrounding which is nature. Now you know Mother Nature is very exacting. If you treat it very well with love and understanding, it is going to treat you very well also. But if you abuse Mother Nature, it is going to be very exacting in its punishment. So this is why we must 
take that little extra time off to dedicate for the development of ourselves. So here now we are getting down into the personality aspect of the individual. And this is really where we exist as an individual. This is where our individual eyes, part of our, of our life, is being projected. Because each and every one of us has a very different personality. We might be brothers, sisters, family, twins. And we all have a distinct personality. And this is why we have so many different difficulties, sometimes within the very same. How often you have heard that the children is saying, Mommy, you don't understand me. Or Daddy, you don't understand me. And then on the other hand, you as the mother is telling your child, Well, why don't you try to understand me? <laughs> And the problem here is, how can you expect a little child with the age of four or five, with an undeveloped mind or intellect, try to understand a grown-up about 35 or 40 years? This is what we call a generation and a communication and a communication gap. And we would like to sort of uh, neutralize this gap, this tension. So we need this discipline. We have to discipline the mind. We have to discipline the body. We have to discipline the senses. And we also have to purify it. We want to disintoxicate our system so that our personality will improve. And then we begin to have a transformation of that personality. Our life begins to be transformed and you will receive the benefits as well as your near and dear ones and our fellow human being, which is so important as well because we all need to live a very harmonious and loving life. So here we are again to you beautiful listening people. It's very nice when you have a very receptive audience and I think it is beautiful for us to have this exchange. Now, now we get to the point where we are dealing with the personality. Now it is very easy to see our physical aspect due to exercises of one type or the other. It is easy to change the way how we think or the way how we have sense perception. It is easy to make certain modifications in our intellectual behavior, but it is not so easy to get down to that inner subtle person to bring about these changes which is so very important in our life. So what we do need now is technique. And the yoga philosophy, you see, has a lot of techniques discipline that we all can apply in our daily activities in order to bring about these activities. Now you see, we have a mind and most of us, it is it's only useful, using about 12 to 14 percent of the mind, which means that there are 86% of our mind, which is latent, it is there, but we are not using it. So we call it the unconscious level. So we would like to know what can be done in order to activate these inactive or unconscious levels so that it can be conscious to bring it into use. So as the unconscious levels begin to decrease, the conscious levels begin to increase. Thereby, you will be automatically understanding much more around. So as the mind begins to develop on its higher levels, a lot of faculties which are latent within you also begins to be activated and your general overall mental perception would improve because your mind begins to be more clear. 
So we would all like to have a clear mind so that our perception would be more clear. We do not want to have a clouded mind and a bad memory that we forget, we cannot think clear, we don't think straight, we don't make good decisions. And this is the cause of our problems in our life. This is due to the lack of this progress that we are all working so hard to get, you see. And the yoga philosophy is offering these techniques of physical exercises whereby you can do, you can dedicate 45 minutes a day to have a very healthy, flexible, strong and resistant body. Because when your resistance becomes low, you are open to all types of diseases. So this is why you must do something about improving your eating habits. Your diet must be a very good one. Now, if you have problem of attaining a good dietary system, please call us and we will be only too happy to share some of the beautiful ideas we have concerning your dietaries or your food or the way you eat. We would like to help you to change it to become more healthy and strong. Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Guru Sarsha Param Brahma